gonna do the color of the rainbow tag and I'm sure you guys have been seeing this tag video before on YouTube for a long time and I just have to do it now but better late than ever right so basically is I'm telling you guys my favorite product in each color of the rainbow category and I will also add my favorite product in pink since some people already did that as well but the rainbow color in Asia in North America I think it's a little bit different but I'm just going to talk about red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple and addition color pink and so if you wanted to know what products I like in each color category then you should keep on watching the first item in the red category is this primary jewel body butter from the body shop in size pink so I guess it's two in one color I personally really like the smell and it's really moisturizing but my mom she hates the smell but I love the smell and now I'm going to talk about orange and I really like the bow oil since I got lots of mascara by in Hong Kong no reason I have been using it but I really review my channel I did help with new scars but I don't know if that helped with older scar but it did work and I do recommend it. The second item is not like a makeup product but it's a makeup brush. It's the Real Technique Burping Brush and I'm sure you guys have heard about it. And I really like this applying foundation. It just gives a really flawless finish and it's like great for contouring as well. So I really really enjoy this brush. Now on the color of yellow. I don't know if you count this as yellow, but it kind of looks like yellow and orange. I really like this vitamin C skin boost. It, it just applies the skin is really smooth and it moisturizes and it also acts as a primer. So two in one, which is really great. And I did a review on this product already. Now on the color category of green, I also did a review on this product. And this is the um, Freeman Cute Burr Peel Off Mask. This is really great during the summer. You just apply it on the face. Make sure you apply a thick layer and then when it dry, you peel it off from down to up. And it makes your face look really cool. And after that, your skin just feels so smooth. And I really enjoy this product. And now, um, the lighter green, I have three products. The first, I'm going to talk about the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. I already show you guys in my July favorites video, but I'm filming it the same day actually. But um, I really like this product. It moisturizes, it smells nice, and it really nourishes your hair. The next screen product is the Facial Clay Mask by Freeman. This is the Avocado and Oatmeal. I did a video in one of my channel just using Avocado and Oatmeal, and it works great as a moisturizing and Rub face mask, but this one is with clay, it just avoids your pores being clogged. And after you leave it on and it dries it off, it doesn't draw your skin, it makes your skin really smooth and moisturized. And so, I really like this product. And I also really like this EOS lip balm, it's the Honey Duel, I think. It looks like this. I just like the smell, the scent. It is really cute, it's like a melon, and so I really like this product, and so I have quite some product in the green category, and so now I'm going to talk about my favorite product in the blue category, and it's this usual acrylamides, whitening lotion or toner or whatever, and I like this, the texture is kind of like a serum, like the vitamin E serum, and you apply it, and it moisturizes, and it didn't. Um, make my skin get darker after I use this. I kind of whiten it a little bit as well. I haven't got any darker even though now it's the summertime because I have been wearing sunscreen. If you don't want to get tan, wear sunscreen with SPF is really important. And I prefer this in dry area, like in the winter time, not in Hong Kong because it's too humid. It just makes it sticky. So I like it when I'm in Canada, but when it's in Hong Kong, it just makes my skin feel sticky, but I really like this product. 
And I also really like the bikini saltini. I'll post a picture right here on it showing my nails. Now I'm wearing Sunday Funny because I make a nail tutorial. But I don't know if this is blue, but it's kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of blue, but not really blue. You know what I mean? But I really like this nail polish color, and I think it's a really unique color. And so I really like this color. Now, onto my favorite color of uh, the rainbow hack is purple. I have purple watch and a purple shirt, and so I guess you guys know I love purple. And so I really like this thing. You can get it in Sasa or whatever and just clip off the bangs while we're doing makeup since I don't really have bangs but I really like this one and I also really like the baby lips I don't know I'll name it in the video I don't remember what color it just really sheer and it more really moisturized and so it's great for those who are you know, beginner with makeup who doesn't really like a lot of color on your lips so this one is really great. And I also really like the early Nikkei Prime portion. It just helped your eyeshadow stay out all day long with the creasing. And I really like this wet and wild eyeshadow palette petal pusher. I'm not sure you guys already heard of it. And I just really like the color. And I did uh, use this palette in one of my Get Ready With Me video. And this one is only like $30 or $4 in Walmart or Supercell, which is really great. And you get 8 colors, but oh wait, be aware, just a lot of fallout. So you need to use like a primer or like concealer on your lip before you apply it to help the eyeshadow stay longer. And I personally really like the Fossies, and this is the flare one and the brushes looks like this I really like it because it lengthened it um, volumized and it didn't um, it did smudge a little bit but it's really waterproof because one time I used a mascara and I cried but it didn't make me look like a camera so I really like this and I did got the big eyes the Fossy since I'm the Fossy fan but I haven't used it but I got the washable mascara. I should have got the waterproof one. I don't know why, but I just happened to pick out the washable mascara. And so I'll be using this in Hong Kong, I guess. And my mom doesn't really like me to wear makeup, so I don't know when I'll wear it, but I got the blackest back. Black. Last but not least, in the pink category, I really like this blush. I mentioned this in my April, no, in my May favorites, I think, is the Maloney Bake Blush in 05 Lumen No Fill Lumen Iso, and it is just a really pretty pink coral shade, and it also comes with a mirror and a brush. I don't really like the brush, I haven't even used it yet, but it's great if you're going out and you want to do some touch up, there's a mirror. And I like the fancy packaging as well. I love this blush. This has been my go-to blush when I wanted to wear makeup. And so that's it for this color of the rainbow tag. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I've thrown more than one product in each color category. So I hope you guys don't mind. But thank you so much for um, watching this tag video. Leave a comment down below if you have any other tag videos that you want me to do. And so don't forget to follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, Key, and Vine if you haven't already. And like my Facebook page, thumbs up if you like this tag video. And I'll see you guys in my next video then. Bye! Hi guys, it's the end of July, so I'm going to share with you guys my July favorite slash empties product. And I'm going to share with you guys my favorite song of the month.